How's it going, JDs and Enderman, Goys and Bells? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope your day is as wonderful as you are. Now, today's video is going to be an absolutely insane one. Like, you, you're, you're not even ready for this. Today, we're going to be building the fastest car in Pixel Car Racer. I'm going to be showing you how to do so, how to launch it, how to actually properly drive it, and all that good stuff. So, if you guys are a little bit excited for today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, as it really does truly mean the world more than you can ever know. And uh, honestly, let's just dive straight into the video. So, what car is this going to be? So, if you want to go to the EU section of the dealership and scroll along uh, almost all the way, it's pretty. It's, it's not too expensive, but it is pretty damn expensive at the same time. It is the old school Alpine A110 for $153,800. So, what we want to do is want to go buy this car. That's the first step. Who, who would have need to get the fastest car? You need to buy the car. So go into your garage and uh, you're going to want to copy the exact upgrades that I do. So engine swap, you want the LT5. That's going to bump it up and give us a crap ton of horsepower. Um, the uh, the wheels, you want anything that has at least uh, uh, 120 weight or below. So 120, 100, 110, stuff like that. So the less weight, the better. So we're going to see if we have any of these. Uh, honestly, it's like if you have uh, wheels that are like weight 140, that's not going to make a huge difference. It will make it a tad ever so slightly bit slower, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. I don't have any one, any very much lightweight wheels. So uh, let's uh, let's go buy some. That's what we need. Let's go buy some lightweight wheels. Let's see if we have any in the parts store. If you guys don't get any uh, very much lightweight wheels out of the crates, you can use these ones. Uh, not not them ones. No, where are they gone? Where are they gone? Ah, there they are. You can use these BBX RGR2s from the parts store. So, we'll get these. And then we want to put on the Demon 250 shot nos. And from this case, it is pretty much uh, like just maxing out all the parts. So if you don't have the ready uh, T60D Diamond Turbo, the 24 karat uh, gold will work as well. Uh, obviously the Diamond Turbo will make it a tad bit faster. So uh, I want lightweight everything. You want the uh, you want the Advan Dragsters, the VX bags. No, no, sorry, no. For this tune actually, you want the VX slams, not the bags. You want the VX slams. So go into your parts tool, suspension, go all the way, and it's literally uh, the second to last one. So I want these. Go slap them on the, uh, the build. Just like that. And I'll lower the car, and you can't, uh, so you can uh, like change all this. So you want to put it to negative 4.5 inches. Uh, and then the intake, you want the uh, VX open intake the ECU obviously they'll just max just max everything out to uh, the point that you can't max anything out anymore and the exhaust you want the hood X exhaust you want the standard one actually no no you can put any of them on because uh, I'm but I am going to put the the regular one on because the other two that I have just they're on other cars and I can't be asked to take them off so um what, what now? Are we missing anything else? I don't. Are we missing? What are we missing? I think that is it. So the last thing that we need to do is put some weight. Uh, sorry, some weight reduction seats. So anything with negative 120, yeah, that'll be alright. So we're going to put these pride yellows in. Now from this point, it is honestly just a case of making the car how, look how you want it to look. So I feel like that is what we are going to uh, do. I am feeling a bit of a yellow look because uh, yellow goes well with gold, uh, goldy yellow wheels. I'm also going to put a massive knockoff spoiler on it. Why not? It is an outrageous build, so it deserves an outrageous spoiler as well. Now, I've never actually messed too much around with the headlight tints, uh, headlight or taillight tints, but we are going to put them on today. Just because it is a bit of a, uh, a nutty, crazy build, so why not? Okay, so let's have a look at the kits that we can put on this car. We have the Pandem, the Drag Pro Rear, Rocket Bunny, uh, the Fortune, 
the tuna, the BN, uh, and the drag rear. So, because it is one of the fastest drag cars in the game, it won't... Now, just a quick disclaimer, this won't win you tournaments. This will not win you many, well, many tournaments. It might win you some, but it will not guarantee tournament wins because the AI, your opponent uses the same tune as you. So if you use an absolutely overpowered car, your opponent will also use an absolutely overpowered car. So unless, you know, unless you're feeling risky, do not use this for tournaments. Uh, just quick, on a, if you want a really good um, uh, tournament car, leave a comment down below and I will try and make a guide or top five, top 10 builds on uh, best tournament cars to use. So we're gonna stick, we're gonna go with the Fortune uh, sides, skirts, body kit, and you know, that sort of stuff. And uh, what kind of front ends do we got? So we've got Pandem, Drag Pro, Rocket Bunny, Fortune, Tuna, and BN. I quite like the tuna kit. But actually saying that, it looks like it's got really big nose, so maybe not. Honestly, Fortune is kind of speaking to me. Yeah, we're, go we're gonna go Fortune. Okay. So, that is the build done, apart from the tune -in. So, for the tune -in, you wanna go and copy this exact tune. Make sure to screenshot or pause the video if you wanna use it, so you don't lose it uh, in the future. So, with that now done, we are ready to go and test this car. So, we're gonna be using the same three tests that we do in all the videos. We're gonna do a top speed run. Uh, so we're going to go street, cruise, uh, Japan, and in the day. Why not? Okay, so we've got a little uh, yellow mean machine. And uh, we're going to see what sort of top speed this can hit to. If we don't hit anything in the way. Uh, we hit police. Uh, well, uh, this has gone really badly. 250. Can we hit 260? Can we hit 260? Come on. Come on, 260. And we do hit 260. Okay, there we go. 260 miles an hour uh, is roughly the top speed of the uh, A110. So, now, we're going to be doing some quarter mile runs and some half mile runs. Uh, but uh, just remember, this is not, this is one of the fastest drag cars, but it's not the best tournament cars to use. And our first time is a 6.039 for a first run. That is insane. Honestly, insane. Uh, we get a better time of 6.021. And that is my new high score. Let's go. Uh, we've got 6.031. So, I do want to try uh, a little something. So, uh, launch control. I haven't dabbled uh, dabbled with it much, but we I want to see if it can actually do something different. So we're going to set a launch control, and then we're going to test this once again on the quarter mile. We got a 6.021 it, uh, with the regular launch, uh, like launching um, strategy, so to say. So let's see if launch control can make a difference. Yes, it does. Yes, it very much does. 5.931 seconds. That is incredibly fast. Wow. Now, I have seen this tune. I have seen this tune do uh, 5.8 uh, 5 seconds. I have seen it do it, so it can. It's just you need to be near enough perfect with absolutely everything with this car. Let me know in the comments down below what sort of times that you get with this car. Well, I'm very interested to know. Uh, see what time took in. It didn't register my upshift. That's a shame. 20 minutes later. Oh no, we got so close. 0 0.018 seconds off.
Okay, guys, there we go. 5.8 seconds. That is proof right there. This car will do 5.8 seconds. And uh, I've been doing this for about 20 minutes now. My hands hurt. And that is gonna, uh, that's going to be where I wrap it up for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy the video, found it useful or found it entertaining, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what you want me to do in future videos. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da. I just need a moment To give a little more To feel a little more Before I open my eyes It feels like I was chosen